Several car makers are now introducing new environmentally friendly cars, but they aren't all electric. No, as Chris Martinez reports, they run on hydrogen. And I also have the option to show kind of how much of the overall power I'm using. Adam Brea Lee has driven a Toyota Mirai for three years. On a full tank, he says he can travel nearly 300 miles in the hydrogen fuel cell vehicle. For the most part, I'm able to refuel in five minutes and go about my day without even thinking about it. A fuel cell car doesn't have to be plugged in for power. It instead uses hydrogen and oxygen to generate electricity on board. The tailpipe's only emission is water. I certainly think if people got to drive these cars, they would want them. Roadshow editor-in-chief Tim Stevens says despite Despite the benefits of fuel cell technology, sales haven't taken off like electric vehicles. One reason, the cost. New models introduced at this year's LA Auto Show, like Hyundai's Nexo, carry a price tag of just over $58,000. The other hurdle? California is the only state that has a large number of fueling stations available. It could change in the future if we get more fuel cell stations elsewhere in the U.S., but there really isn't any major movement to put any massive number of these stations elsewhere, and that's what you really need. Adam lives in L.A. and has easy access to hydrogen. People are mostly concerned about, can I just get from point A to point B without me worrying about it? And the short answer with this car for me has been absolutely. And he likes knowing his car is environmentally friendly. Chris Martinez, CBS News, Los Angeles. Yeah, great idea, but until those prices come down, I know. that's just not going to be practical.